This is Oliver. Hello, Oliver. We got him in uh, August. Okay, okay, so I was gonna say, it's it's a COVID dog, it's a quarantine dog. He's even got his Go Jets Go uh, gonna ask what he's wearing. On. You have always been a real student of the game, you know, kind of a self-proclaimed hockey nerd. So I, I got to ask, like on a weekly basis, how much hockey would you say you watch? I'd say I, I, I definitely watch hockey every night. Um, you know, it's, it's definitely always on. Um, you know, sometimes there's, sometimes, you know, if you don't have a game the next day, you're not going to bed super early, so you can catch uh, you know, more than one game. But, you know, I'd say every single night that, you know, we don't play, you know, and especially this whole North Division, has you know honestly even enhanced it. Anytime there's you know there's a bunch of games on and it makes for you know a guy like me it makes my my life really easy because I just plop myself on the couch and, and watch hockey and, and and there goes the rest of the day. <laughs> it's easy to do, I know. How do you watch a game though? Like, are you watching as you said your friends? Are you watching maybe the team you're going to be playing next? Like, are you kind of almost pre-scouting uh, teams you're going to play against? You know, I'd say going into a game, it's usually not in a pre-scout. It's more, it's, it's honestly more for me. I was watching Mitch Marner pretty closely, and obviously we play them next, but, you know, this year, I, you know, he's been so fun to watch. He's been a guy that has been, um, you know, his game has just steadily gotten better and better and better. And, you know, that's what I enjoy most about hockey is, is, is picking up those little things and then going and trying them and then, you know, maybe rewatching it and then going back, you know, on the ice to do it. So. You know, that's why that's why I love hockey so much because it's always that you know constant learning. Is there a goalie though that's kind of had your number this season at all? Like, is there someone that is like, ah, I I gotta find a way to get by him, or is there anyone in particular? Honestly, Carey Price always has my number. I find, you know, Jack Campbell. You know, he's been pretty fantastic. Other than the last game in Toronto, you know, like you know, I was able to, I was able to pop one in on him. <laughs> but I, he's had my number. It's funny to say, but he even had my, had, had my number when he played in LA. I had a I had a chance a few years ago. Six seconds left. They jar three in the slot. It's Shifley. Stop by Campbell at the horn. You know, it was actually six on five. I got a chance in late. I was pretty much all alone, and I, I tried to keep him go back. And he made a big save on me, and he made a big save on me um, that year, too. So, you know, finally, finally I was able to get one by him the other night. You know, I heard you say somewhere that you feel analytics are like hogwash, that that is not something that you pay much attention to. Can you explain why? I, got, I, I think I got asked more about the hog, actually saying hogwash more than anything. <laughs> I, people were asking, is that a Kitchener term? And I was like, no, my dad just uses all those random terms like that. So, <laughs> um, but honestly, yeah, like I'm, I'm, not a, I'm not a big fan of it. Um, you know, that's just kind of my opinion on things. I, I don't pay, pay much attention to it. Um, you know, I, you know, I feel I have a pretty keen eye for things. So when I watch a game, I feel like I pick up things differently than, than other people. Um, you know, I, I don't need to, to look at a, a sheet to tell me how many scoring chances. Well, I don't even, that's the thing. I don't really even understand the, the numbers that come out of it. Connor Hellebuck, I mean, how much confidence does he give your team when he's in that? <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's funny, actually. I was. I was, I was trying to watch, uh, watch a game on, on TV the other day, like on the, on the Rogers Game Center app, and it, pop, it always pops up like when the Winnipeg Jets, uh, like dashboard or whatever, mm -hmm. and it came up to like Connor Hallibuck's road to the NHL. And I, I, I kind of knew about it, like I knew he played in the North American Hockey League, but I didn't really know how far removed he was from, you know, junior hockey or whatever it was. Like it was, I, I watched it and I was kind of like, I was like, I was wow. Um, you know that, you know, first of all, that, you know, the amount of work that he's put in and the amount of, you know, the, you know, that some, something inside him has made him tick this whole time um, to make him the player that he is now. Um, but also, you know, in the Winnipeg Jets for finding him, he's playing in their old Odessa, Texas. And, you know, now he's in the NHL, he won a Vezna, like it's, <laughs> It's a pretty amazing story, but you know he, he keeps in every game. He makes all the big saves. He he is the backbone of this team, and you know if we didn't have him, we definitely wouldn't be where we are. And he deserves as, you know, as many accolades as there is out there. As there, is out there.